All right, time to get into the RIP routing protocol, right? RIP version 2, yes. What about RIP version 2? Well, now remember, when we're using routing protocols, one basic but very important variable is to consider the administrative distance. We've talked about this previously in the earlier lectures, but let me show you here. Static routes, 0, 1. Why? Why was that? Because if you use the exit interface, it looks like if it's connected, so the administrative distance is going to be zero. If you use the next router's hub address, let's say your network is 10.1.1.4, you're five, he's six. So the next hop, six, that will look as if it's a one hop count. All right, but it's still lower than any other routing protocol. So what does that mean? The lower the administrative distance, the more believable the route. That means that is the um, that is what's going to populate the routing table. Okay, that that particular uh, routing, in this case, static routes. If you have no static routes, if you're using the routing protocol RIP version 2 or RIP NG or just RIP, it's 120. He has the highest one, except for obviously BGP, which is 200, or exterior uh, e, um, EIGRP, which is 170, I believe. But RIP version 2 is 120, EIGRP is 90, low, 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 right? And OSPF is 110. And we're going to actually, and then you have IS, IS, which is 115, and of course, BGP 200. You can look at that right there, okay? So, again, it's how believable the route is. So, when we do our lab, well, let me just do this. When we do our lab, which is we're going to configure RIP, because this lab, this lecture is about RIP, you're using class full addresses. Class full addresses. Why? Because it's a distance vector routing protocol. It will summarize by default. So this is why we use the no auto summary command at the end. I'm standing right here so you can take a good look at the commands. Okay? You can print screen that, pause that, write it down, do whatever you need to do. All right? This is how you would configure RIP. And I use the different classes of addresses so you can take so you can see how you would do it. All right? So it doesn't matter which RIP you're doing. Well, with RIP NG is IPv6, so that wouldn't count. But this is the lab that we're going to be working on. All right, we're going to sit down right now. We're going to configure RIP. All the IPs are already there. That's why you see the green dots. And we're going to be configuring RIP. Now you see we have the 10114, 10.118, the 192.116. But you don't put 16. You put 1.0, even though it's subnetted. Here we have a 32. You still put 1.0. Okay, and here. We have a, a B, and I did this on purpose. I did this on purpose so you can see how you would do this, okay? That you would put the class full boundary of that particular address. So let's, let's go to the lab, enough talk, and let's get this done. All right, let's open up the packet tracer. So let's go to router zero right here. Let's open them up. There's the lab. Okay, let's bring this a little bit more over here. Give us some more breathing room. We'll bring this up to here. Okay, CLI. So you can see there's already stuff configured on there, but I'm going to look at do a show start to make sure that there is no routing protocol. And really, you always do show IP. Uh, you know, show IP rip, but that's not the one I wanted, but I'm going to do that anyway. And there, it, no, okay. I'm gonna do a show starters right now, right now. All right, or, or show IP protocols. That's what it is. Show IP protocols. But you can see that there's no rip. There is no routing protocol there. If you look at the route, just look at the routing table. Show IP route. You can see you only see connected routes. Connected routes. So let's do our routing protocol. Okay. So, uh, but I need you to see this router because you already saw the lab in the PowerPoint presentation. So I really need to make sure. So if you don't see the lab right now, don't go crazy. Okay, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. But what I do need you to see is the configuration. All right, because you already saw the lab in the PowerPoint. All right, and you'll see it again at the end. I'll show it to you one more time. All right, so config T, router rip, ver2 or version 2, network. Well. What is this router connected to? It's connected to two networks. The 10 triple zero and the 192 dot 
not 192, 192.168.1.0, no auto, and I tab that, hyphen summary. Do WR. In your exam, you got to go back to privilege mode and do copy run start, enter, enter. So we got rip on there. Awesome. Let's open up the next one. Now the next one is going to be connected to three networks, right? The 10114, the 10118, uh, and the 192.168.32. So let's go ahead and open that one up. Let's go here. This is router one, or really router two, whatever you, you know. I don't want to confuse anybody. It's the second router that we're going to do. Config T. Uh, router rip. Ver2. Network. I'm going to show you why you put the class full boundary. 101114. I'm going to show you. Net. 10118. Oops. And then net 192.168.1.32. Those are the actual networks, correct? No auto hyphen summary. Let's copy it. Let's do a ducial start. Look what it did. Look what it did. It summarized it. It summarized it to 10 triple zero and then 192.168.1.0. That's what disinfected writing protocols do. So I don't waste my time with that. And you cannot put a subnet mask in RIP, so don't waste your time. So we're in the last router. Okay, bring it over here. We're going to enable config T router RIP. Okay, and then we're going to do what is it? Uh, version 2. Network 10 triple zero. Now you know why. Net 172.16.0.0. That's a class full boundary for a class B address. No auto summary. Do WR. So if everything is working in the way it should, if I look at my routing table, show IP route, and let me bring it where everybody can see it straight, and I'll stand up so you guys can see it right. So we're getting routing updates from the 4, which is all the way at the beginning. We're getting routing updates from the 1.0, and we're getting, and you see here, 1632, right? 16 and 32. And then here you see the 172.16.1.0, and here you see the 10.1.1.4 and 10.1.1.8. So we're getting updates from those networks already. So we should have connectivity, and I'm going to open up PC number 2. All right, put it over here, which already has this IP address. You see 172.16.1.1 and 172.16.1, the, the gateway, obviously. All right, let's go. Let's close that. We're going to go to the command prompt, and who are we going to ping? Well, it's ping PC0, PC0, okay? So let's go for the gusto, 192.168. Dot one dot what is that first available if it's a 192.168.1.16 what's the first available address if you're subnetted 17 like this you're subnetting Seven, 17 hit enter now in an ethernet network we know we gotta wait 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 there's your reply we have connectivity we do it again we won't get no waiting so we have full connectivity going all the way across using the RIP routing protocol, using the RIP routing protocol, okay? And we did the class full boundaries, class full boundaries for each address. That is what you need to remember about RIP version two, uh, okay? RIP version one, use broadcast for his updates. RIP version two uses multicast for his updates. Don't forget the no auto summary. Don't forget the no auto summary. And this is version two. Because if you forget to put version two, that's a problem. Because RIP version 1 will accept, well, how is it? No, RIP version 1 won't accept RIP version 2, but RIP version 2 will accept RIP version 1. You're going to have an issue. Now, you can fix that. There's commands to fix that, but that goes beyond the scope of what the C set is trying to do. So as long as you know how to configure RIP with the commands that I just gave you, you'll be good to go. And the commands, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, 
and let's go to slideshow. All right, here are the commands once again. Here are the commands. This is what you got to do. All right, classful boundaries, no auto summary. Keep this in mind. Grid version two. This is what you need to know. Okay, now said. I'll see you guys in the next.